Okay. So this is what we call, this is the topic we call transformations of graphs or transformations of functions. Now you've got to remember what goes on with this. Okay, so before we even try and work out what happens, I'm just going to do use this little box down here to remind us. Now, I'm going to just draw a little table out. Now there's a number of things that can happen. Okay. So if we if we start with a function f of x, we can either add a or we can times by a. But we can do it in a different different ways. We can either affect the y coordinates, which is in the vertical sense, we can affect the x, which is in the horizontal sense. The only difficult thing with about the horizontal sense is that it's actually it affects the horizontal x values always in the opposite way to you to affect that you expect. So, what do I mean by that? So if we had the function f of x and we do a plus a, but it's outside the bracket, it affects the y, we could do an f of x plus a, and that will add a to the x coordinates, and that means it's going to do, this one does a vertical shift or up and down, this one does a horizontal shift left or right but does the wrong way so plus a goes to the right minus a goes to the left whereas plus a goes up minus a goes down you might need to go and look this up because this is a little bit weird but you'll get the trick of what's going on if we affect the y we can do a f of x now this does a stretch away from the x-axis so it stretches up or it stretches down so it stretches depending well so it stretches it times by it moves it away from the the x axis okay and if you divide it by a it would squash it downwards if you do f of ax affect the horizontal but actually it does the opposite of what you expect so if this is the y-axis that's just going on actually does what a squashes it in by a so it does the opposite of what you expect you expect it to stretch it outwards and it doesn't it stretches it, it just squashes it inwards just like plus a you would expect to go to the right it really goes to the left so it's kind of see how this works you need to know this you need to have looked this up possibly it's a bit tricky this topic it's an a and a star topic let's go up here well, let's look at this one. This is a plus 5. Okay, f of x plus 5. So let's look down here. It looks like this one, doesn't it? f of x plus 5. So it looks like this. So it's an f of x plus 5. So that means it's going to move everything upwards. Okay, or it could possibly move it downwards. So let's have a look in here. So this point is actually going to go 5 spaces up the whole graph is going to be shifted up so that means that the x coordinate stays the same just instead of from 3 we do 3 plus 8 which takes us 3 plus 5 which takes us to 8 let's have a look at this one f of y equals 2 f of x so the 2 is outside that looks like this one doesn't it 2 f of x so what that's going to do, it's going to stretch it, it's going to double everything away from up from the axis and double everything down. It kind of stretches it like it's made of rubber. So let's look at this one. So this one's going to get stretched twice as far from the axis. So again, the x coordinate is going to stay the same. The y coordinate is going to double. So it's going to go from 4 to 6. 
and the final one. This time we've got something inside the bracket, so f of 4x, f of 4x looks like this one, so basically everything's squashed in by 4, everything's multiplied by a quarter, everything gets closer to the y-axis by 4, affects the horizontal, it does the opposite. So let's have a look, everything gets smaller in by 4, well, so this is going to stay the same height, but it's actually going to get squashed in four places to about here, which is going to be one. So you're going to get one. The y coordinate stays the same, only the x was changed. That's important. The first two of the x's weren't changed, just the y was changed in a certain way. In the last one, the y was kept the same, the x changed.